we're back. So now I've chosen my center design and I'm going to go through what I'm thinking about when I place it down on my butcher block paper. So again, I saw some beautiful things, lovely designs. I did choose something very simple and so I picked the Dove of Peace and I'm just going to cut the borders first. You don't have to cut out the shape, just cut out the borders. It will help you with your measuring. And again, it's all about measuring, isn't it? Um, I want to make sure that this is centered on my paper and also feels balanced. So I'm just doing this quickly. And then what I'm going to do is take my ruler and measure out a few centimeters uh, how long it is. And it's just under 25 centimeters. So that would be just over 12. So I'm just going to go and figure out the halfway point on all sides all sides. Um, the reason is so that you can center your image really well. There you go. And then the larger ruler. Let's see what this is. This is 37. So Take three away, five, six, sixteen, sixteen, thirty-two, thirty-four. There you go. Okay. So again, there is my center. The other thing you can do, which is even more exact, is fold it, which probably works better. But you can still do the same. But this center line, I can put directly right here on my measuring lines here. There we go. And that works well. There we go. Um, and then you want to see how much space. Do you want to have the exact same space above and below where your name and your prayer is. Um, I think I do. You may want to put yours a little higher, closer to the prayer, but I think the center, making sure that it uh, has equal distance between the two, does make sense. It looks good, it feels balanced, um, and that is what I'm just going to do now. There we go. So let's see. So I've got nine centimeters, and eight centimeters. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take it all down. Now, just looking at this now, once I trace it and do what I need to do, there are other things in the package that I may add. I may add uh, two mugging Um I also saw some lovely flowers I may add, but who knows? We'll see. 
So now what you're, all you have to do is trace. You've seen from using the markers on the border what those markers can do. So again, if you want thicker lines, use those thicker markers. If you want just outlines, very thin, and then add your color afterwards and fill in the color, do that. Just keep practicing on your little piece of paper. But uh, once you do that, you'll be all set just to type the tzik tzik. And then you'll have your beautiful tallit done. The only thing next is the tallit bag, which I don't have. So I'm just going to let you know. Let's just go over here. With the tallit bag, you can fit eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper inside. When, you, um, when you're working on it, take a few sheets and put them in there before you do your, um, your Hebrew name and the design that you want for the tallit. The reason why, the, ink, the, the markers do bleed and you don't want to have bits of marker on the back of your tallit bag. Better than that, I think you're, uh, you're fine to go. Um, Mazel tov once you get it done and um, hopefully we will see you in person at some point so I can see them. Or I'll send photos to uh, the downtown Jewish Community School and then I can take a look at them too. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. Take care.